Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if a program keeps crashing on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing, honestly, probably going to be the easiest thing, which is restart your computer. So right-click on the Windows Start button, select Shut Down or Sign Out, and then select Restart. So hopefully that would have resolved the problem. If not, we're going to go jump into some more substantive solutions here. So start by opening up the magnifying glass and type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this command line window, you want to go type in SFC, followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Give us some time to run here. Okay, so once that's done, close out of here. You want to go restart your computer. Okay, so hopefully that would have resolved the problem. If you're still having an issue, you can try opening up the search menu. Type in Advanced System Settings. Go ahead and select that. So go left click on it to open it up. And you want to go and now select the Advanced tab. And where it says Performance, Visual Effects, Processor Scheduling, Memory Usage, and Virtual Memory, select Settings. And now you want to select Data Execution Prevention. Set it to turn on, so turn on DEP for all programs and services except those I select. At this point, you go ahead and select the Add button, and you go ahead and navigate to whichever program you're having the problem with. So you might have to go onto your local disk and then Program Files, and then you locate the program that you're having the problem with here. And you would select it, and then just go under here, and then actually select the executable file, and then select Open. 
so it'll only work on 32-bit files here, but you guys get the point, so that gives you guys an alternative option there as well. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.